Uh, boy, it's been a long time since I have done a YouTube video. I, I, yeah, I pretty much don't know where to start. <laughs> okay, so earlier this month, uh, Google started rolling out access to YouTube Music, which is their replacement for Google Play Music. Now, like everyone else, I'm left in the position where I now have to look at this replacement for a service that I use quite a bit of. So stick with me and we're gonna be doing a deep dive into YouTube Music versus Google Play Music to figure out what the differences are and what things you still need to look for. And who knows, we might even have some answers for why they're doing this in the first place. How, how's that for a teaser, huh? All right, so already you can see that both services are very, very similar. Um, if I didn't already know any better, I might assume that Google Play Music just got a slightly upgraded front page. Uh, YouTube Music is a bit cleaner looking and has this nice dark theme compared to Play's light theme and an interface that's just packed with buttons and links and album covers and all that. Um, both services offer recommendations based on your likes and dislikes, uh, your current location, the time of day, even the weather. Um, and you can clearly see the design influence that YouTube itself has on its music service with this kind of rows of content separated by headers look. So it's not a radically different look than the existing service, but it's also very clear that Google is trying to unify the look and feel of what a YouTube service is, regardless of whether or not it's serving music or videos. The mobile version of YouTube Music follows a very similar trend, except that the interface looks absolutely nothing like YouTube mobile. So don't be surprised to see an interface update that brings the same unified look from the web down to your smartphone. Okay, so far so good. Right, so one of the first things that I tried to do was play an existing playlist that I had created on Google Play Music service itself, and it's not there. Uh, in fact, none of my playlists are there. None of my downloaded music is available. None of the artists or albums that I've added to my library are available. And none of my podcasts are available. Other than some recommendations, YouTube Music is basically treated my Google Play Music subscription as this alternate history fantasy that never actually happened. I genuinely thought that I was missing something or that there was a problem with my account. So I started looking online where I discovered that Google is apparently going to be releasing a separate app that just does podcasts, and I... Seriously? I... This is a textbook example of everything that all your user base complains about. They make an interesting product that attracts a bunch of early adopters, and then instead of doubling down and investing a bunch of effort into the product itself for improvements, they cancel it, or they leave it to rot, or they take it and they split it up into multiple other products. For a company that harnesses technology to do things that are borderline magical, Google is fantastically unaware of what the term redundancy means. In other words, Google Play Music and YouTube Music offer almost the exact same feature set, except for YouTube Music has fewer of them. Now, to be fair, it is early on in the product life, but I even waited until the service was out of beta to see which of the burning questions that all of us that were in on the beta early had, such as what are you gonna do about our uploaded content? What are you gonna do about podcasts? What are you gonna do about all of our likes and our cultivated libraries that we have from this previous service? And so far, zero answers. I gotta stop complaining, otherwise I'll just be here all night. YouTube Music still has the same great algorithm-driven recommendation system and a fantastic selection of music. There are playlists that I now have to recreate, and there's still the same radio feature that I love, which creates a randomized playlist based on a song or an artist that you like. There's now a much larger focus on music videos and live music, which was still present on Google Play Music, uh, but in a much more understated and easy to miss way. Uh, you can now subscribe to artists, which will then change your music recommendations. So why is Google doing this? Like I said before, making two apps that do the exact same thing is kind of stupid in my opinion. So there has to be a really good reason for this. It's not a technical limitation because on the old Google Play music service, you could still get YouTube videos. So that's not it. It could be licensing, which I suspect might be the case. But I think the real answer is right here. Subscribing in YouTube Music now works the exact same way as going to YouTube and subscribing to the artist directly there, which on the surface sounds painfully obvious, except for that's not how the old service worked at all. 
artists previously had no way to leverage their YouTube audience to make money from Google Play Music Streams. And audience is the name of the game here. By integrating the music streaming service and YouTube into a single app, Google gets to reach a larger audience with more content and tap into the existing model of subscribing to content creators who get paid via YouTube monetization. It's win-win, and if you already have a subscription to Google Play Music, then you already have YouTube Red, which content creators like us get a share of. Business-wise, I think it's a great idea to unify all of your media under a single brand and a single app, and it's a change that I would imagine that artists and consumers alike will grow to appreciate in the future. All right, that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you everybody who stopped by to check out the video. Um, like we always ask, if you haven't already done so, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help us meet our goal. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers for this year, and we're getting pretty close. We're within striking distance of closing out the year. So help us out if you haven't already done so. Uh, show this video to your friends if you think it's worthwhile. Uh, give us a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and I will see you all next time.